and welcome to your Vedic Lunar Scope for today, the 23rd of October 2015. The moon today is in the early portion of the sign of Pisces as it transits its way through Shantabisha Nakshatra. And today you're pretty convinced that you know the right thing to do about a particular situation in order to make it go a little more smoothly and to make your life a lot happier, right? Well, maybe not, okay? Um, you have a potential solution in mind, but you need to be aware that a potential really is nothing more than a potential. And you also need to be um, aware that the only thing that you're certain of really is that you're not really certain of anything. By all means, go ahead and proceed with the plan. It, it's worth a try, but you need to approach it with an open mind, not with a um, surety of confidence that it's going to turn out in a certain way, because there's likely going to be a couple of twists and turns. An exchange that you're hoping will go a certain way may actually take an unexpected turn. Not necessarily an unexpected turn for the worse, but just an unexpected turn. And due to that, you may have to make an adjustment or two as a result. So the best thing you can do is to be willing to rise above the frustration that you are coping with um, as a result of things not moving in the manner that you were perhaps thinking that they were. Cooperate in any struggle that you're facing as a result of that will cease. Shatabisha is a dharma-driven nakshatra. And with Shatabisha, we quite often get pulled in a certain direction only to find that where we were going wasn't really where we thought we were going in the first place. Makes sense? Or is it confusing? Well, it only makes sense that it is confusing because we're talking about Shantabisha here. Um, Shantabisha is associated with Rahu, and that's why, um, that's why things tend to kind of go in a different manner. Sometimes that can be pleasant, sometimes it can be unpleasant, and that depends on a lot of different factors. Um, Shatabisha is connected with Varuna. Varuna is the Vedic equivalent of Neptune, and Varuna is the one who creates cosmic law, but he wants us to discover that cosmic law all on our own. So he sometimes leads us in a certain direction so that we learn a particular lesson, and uh, such is the case in this particular instance. Uh, regardless of the outcome of, um, of what you're doing today, and regardless of if you things end up taking a different turn, you're going to have to first, A, you know, take some actions in a certain direction, because that is ultimately good for you, and B, when you're having to make an adjustment, regardless of whether you want to make that adjustment or not, it's something that you're going to uh, need to get on with. With Shatabisha, it's very much about um, just doing something because it's the right thing to do, even if it's not something that is necessarily um, bringing you happiness to do. And the happiness that can come from doing so is coming from the fact that you know that you're doing the right thing. But today you don't know if you're doing the right thing. You think you're doing the right thing, but you may not actually do the right thing. And in terms of that, well, you just kind of have to go through it anyway. And when you see that you're not doing the right thing, then you do have to do the right thing. And you can be okay with that if you choose to be so. It's the 11th day of the bright half of the moon today. The lunar tithi is Shukla Ekadashi. And with this particular energy, it's suggesting that um, you are blind about something. There's something that you're missing because you've got your sights set in one particular direction, but aren't really paying attention to other things which may arise as a result of your particular situation. The solar lunar yoga today is Vrita. Vrita means increase. And in this particular instance, it's about rising above the situation that you're dealing with, being able to witness it from a higher perspective, having insight about what is actually going on, and being willing to make the necessary adjustments that go along with that. 
If you're dealing with a situation with which you could use a little bit of extra assistance, I do offer several different tiers of astrological service. These are available through the astrological services page of my website. There should be a little eye above. If you click on that, it'll take you to my astrological services page by way of a small card that will drop down in the window. Um, just to let you know, the nakshatra course which will teach you about the nakshatras in general and if you're an astrology enthusiast teach you some techniques with which to work with the uh, nakshatras and this is a course that i'm doing with fellow astrologer ryan Korzak. well that's going to be released within the next week or two uh, so you can look at the vedic lunar scopes for further information about when this course will actually be available that's going to do it for your vedic lunar scope for today the 23rd of october 2015 until next time please take the very best care of yourself bye now